No more interviews with Roy Hodgson this evening. He's just resigned as the England manager after England lost 2-1 to Iceland in the Euro last 16 game in Nice. Uh, an honourable, decent football man. Uh, a man, let's be honest, left with no choice after honourable that. Honourable thing. No, no, and he, and he, is, a, he is a lovely guy. And, uh, and you're right, honourable. He's done the right thing, I think. Um, he can't take the team any further in the competition because they're out. And so his contract was up. And I, and I think he's, he's done the right thing from, from his point of view, but also, also the team's point of view. I think he couldn't have took the team any further. So, <clears throat> what, do you, what, what would he honestly come out and say after that? What, what could he yeah. say? Where could he go, you're saying? Exactly. Yeah. You know, unless he's coming out and totally damning, giving them a, a total blasting because, you know, he said that they've been fantastic and everything like that, which is a nice thing to say, but they, they've not been fantastic. It's They've hard. not been fantastic. It's hard because you, you don't want to be too damning because it is a young team and this, the majority, you know, if not all of those players are, are going to be our players in the next major tournament. So, you know, if we sit here and slate them as say, you know, how bad they are, we need to replace them. These are, these are good young players mm -hmm. and they'll learn from this experience and I think... What no, we're not slating them, Pete. We're no, slating, no, 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 not slating not the yet. performance. Exactly, yeah. Slating no, the performance. I'm saying just, um, you know, obviously with him resigning I think it takes the pressure off the players a little bit you know it's hoping that other people will start talking about him leaving rather than the, the performance and I think it's probably why he came in and did it so early I, I, I don't take the, I say take the pressure off the players I, I don't think I know why he's why he's done it but I don't think it takes any pressure off the players I think they they've got to be in a position where they go that wasn't good it might even be bit. led a certain way but on international level you, you you have a responsibility to play now if the system's wrong it's a, it's a joint effort I think they've got to be hold their hands up and say tonight their performances individually and as a team was poor and from a coaching point of view there was there was glaring yeah. errors there with the set pieces etc that weren't taken care of that he, How do you think uh, history will judge his time? He came in very late before Euro 2012, didn't he? So the fact they lost to Italy on penalties yeah. in the quarterfinals, you could accept. Brazil didn't get out of the group tonight. Iceland, you know, we all dis we all discuss about the fact they didn't win the group. So actually, they landed themselves in the harder half of the draw. But then they played Iceland, but they've lost to Iceland. How do you think history is going to judge the Roy Hodgson race? I think that, like I said, uh, I, don't, I don't. I think when you look back at it, I don't think they'll be very kind because. Like I say, um, the group that we came out of, it's an easy group. It was, we, we, it was very, we won 10 games. You know what I mean? I, I was never getting carried away with it. And that's why coming into the tournament, you're thinking, well, hopefully something will click and, you know, the Deli Alleys and, you know, like, like Vardy and Kane coming in with the form they're coming in with. You know, Sterling might catch fire again. And, and like for the three games, we got by, it was OK, but never got tested. It, it never got tested at the back. You know, we, we, we finished second in the group, you know, uh, and with Wales, Slovakia and Russia. Um, you know, that wasn't good enough. Um, and then we go into the game with, with Iceland and I think we all expected we'd get through that and then we just felt that we'd just get beat after that, you know. So, yeah, the whole campaign's disappointing. You know, we said at the start, with all due respect to Iceland, this is England against yeah. Iceland. There is no excuse for England. No, not no. to win that match. None. Absolutely, and, and he's not making any excuses. And the players won't, you know, you could see him after the game how hurt they were, and quite rightly so. They've gone out to Iceland, they should never have lost that game. And, but they have done. But you, you, look at over the, you look at Roy Hodgson over the period of time and say, would this group of players with a different manager have performed any better? Well, as Crouchy said, that will be remain to be seen because this group of players mm. will move forward well, without him. Shall we have a look at the runners and riders then for, for those who might who might well replace him? <coughs> so we've got half a dozen names here, potentially He's those to replace Roy Hodgson, <laughs> <laughs> who's resigned this <laughs> evening. Uh, look, the Eiffel Tower in Italian colours after them with Gareth Southgate, old friend of ours, of course, 8-1. to Alan Pardew, Gary Neville, of course, who's been an assistant to Roy Hodgson and has had managerial experience at 10s. Brendan Rodgers, who's just taken over at Celtic, 16. Eddie Howe, 16. And Arsene Wenger, 28 to 1. Would, you, right would now, your old manager be interested in the England job? Um, I, I wouldn't want my... I wouldn't want him as the England manager. Um, because, <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> Because Why? I just don't want Arsene Wenger as want? England manager. Who do you want then? I'd, 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 I'd go with Gareth Southgate, what he's doing with the under 21s, and go that way. I think we've done the, the foreign manager, and, and as good as they've been in the previous jobs they've done, they haven't done nothing for us. And as much as Arsene Wenger has been unbelievable for, for Arsenal and what he's done, I'd rather like to see it be um, someone like Gareth Southgate, who's done his bit with the under 21s, and he's done it pretty well as well. Yeah. Peter? 
Uh, he's the favourite Gareth Southgate. He's in the FA system. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. It's, I don't see why not. Um, I think uh, Gary Neville was someone that I thought was maybe looking for that role. Obviously, him being in the staff already, maybe it's not the right time for him. But um, yeah, I but do you say that, Crouchy? But like. With the coaching and everything that's going on behind the scenes, he's there as well. Mm. What has he been doing in there? Mm. Has he had enough? Like, has he been able to do anything? Because what I've seen of Gary, he's, he's an unbelievable coach. I'm but like, I've not seen it in our team. Right, I'm surprised that, that we've conceded from a throw in with Gary Neville in that setup. Mm. I'm surprised that hasn't been sorted. I mean, it's, it's easy to see how they set up, and it was easy to work out. We made three mistakes in that one goal. He couldn't have, been, he couldn't have had much to say for me, Gary Neville. Yeah. Couldn't have. Okay, what's well,